Right. Let's go! Woo. Let's go, alright. Hi, I'm the Survivor, and as we mentioned, we're going to be showcasing you Driver 2. Uh, I have Viper with me, so go ahead and introduce. Yep. Hello, uh, I'm Viper. I also run this game, as well as many other racing games, but yeah, enough of that about me. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be, uh, because the incentive got met, this is going to be a hard difficulty speed run, which is going to make, unsurprisingly, the run much difficult, much more harder. Uh, we'll more explain what uh, changes during the run and exactly, but as you can see, there's one last thing, uh, I have a job for the audience, both at home and here, back here. Uh, I decided to set a little challenge, so for every unintentional car crash I get into, I'm going to donate a dollar, so... Please, everyone here, try to keep count on how many uh, accidents I get into. That's your job for this for uh, the run. Anyway, with all that said, let's go. So in three, so you're on the job. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. three, two, one, go. Woo! I'm rough. And we're skipping cutscenes. They are indeed. Right. right. So Driver 2. So this is a, originally a PS1 game. Uh, got released in 2000, right? Something mm -hmm. like that, along those lines. Yep. Uh, it, it was a sequel, unsurprisingly, to Driver 1. It's a 3D, 3D open world driving game. A bit like GTA, but back then GTA was still in his top-down uh, scene. Uh, it didn't go 3D until like GTA 3 on the PS2. So this was like much before uh, uh, the old 3D, uh, game, 3D driving game came through. Especially in towns, because obviously you had like Gran Turismo and stuff like that. But like 3D driving in a city, uh, that was brand new. And Driver 1 brought that. And this was the sequel. It brought like curved roads, like uh, uh, more cars, the ability to go out of your car, which was not an option in the first game. Uh, it had a lot of stuff to uh, the game. Unfortunately, it didn't review all that well because of a main issue, the lag. On PS1, this game is miserable to play. It runs at like F speed most of the time. <laughs> And it's sometimes less than 10. Yeah, like in Chase the Gunman, <laughs> it's, it goes at like 10. It, it goes in slow-mo, which kind of makes the run becomes this. You just go like that and look at walls. It's not really fun, honestly. Uh, but uh, now you might be wondering, well, what is this then? Why? You said you don't enjoy it. Why are you running this thing? Well, this is not the PS1 driver, uh, driver game. This is not the uh, emulator either. This is actually ReDriver 2. So this is where the ReDriver thing comes through. This is a fan-made port of the PS1 game to PC. This is completely from uh, from the ground up. Just kidding. There. That doesn't count, by the way. That's intended. So that's not a dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's intentional. I'll I point it out when they're not intended. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, so there's a few things while Survivor's chasing the, the sedan. So there's a few things to mention. Um, so in 2020, the driver community, more specifically a man by the name of Soapy, uh, decided ah. it would be a good idea to reverse engineer Driver 2, hence the reason how we've got it on PC. Now this is free. By the game files, you can't just, you know, and, and, and play it and everything. Um, but what you can do is, as you can see, so there's a few additions here, so whilst I was doing this, I might as well talk about it. Uh, so you've obviously got visuals that have been enhanced, I guess. They're upscaled to up to 1080p. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think you can push it any higher than that, can you? Uh, I, mean, I think so. Yeah, you, you can. Like, oh, maybe you can. Uh, like there is, you can get set at any resolution you want. The render distance is higher. Yeah. There's a skip cutscene, as you cut can tell. Button. There's a, as you can see now, there's an autosave system. So for all those that have a bit of a pain in the backside, yep. Yeah. Auto saves in this game. Yep. Uh, uh, you'll notice that there is a so the subtitle system. Now this is a, an interesting one. So the subtitles were in the original game in the movie files. However, they weren't in the actual in-game cutscenes. Oh really? Uh, I didn't know so that. So if you go, if you watch like the, the movie clips and things like that, I never and you, you turn subtitles on, the subtitles are in the movie clips. But if you have the like now, hey, you heard start Jones was talking about chasing a train or something like yep. that. Them audio lines don't actually have subtitles, so there you go. Um, so just kind of run through the story a little bit. So we're going to be th going through four cities. We're going to start in Chicago, as you can see. We're then going to go over to Havana, uh, then to Vegas, and then to Rio uh, to finish it off. Now, the story is... This is just for fun, by the way. Oh, okay, all right. Um, this <laughs> Did you have so much time in this mission, so I just swapped car there for the sake of it. I mean, you didn't get surprise. a cup car. I mean, um, the funny thing is as well, so once we quickly talk about this, so um, yeah, the, the way that the story goes is there's a guy by the name of Pink Lenny. Um, he's involved with a gang run by a guy called Vasquez, I think it is. Um, yeah, uh, uh, There's another guy in here by the name often. of Solomon Kane. Ooh. 
Um, he was. Was. Uh, so there's a, a guy here by the name of Solomon Kane. So him and Vasquez basically are two massive gang. Want to both That's like hard. try and be. They both got a gang. They both want to make sure that one comes out on top of the other. Um, and Pink Lenny just happens to be stuck in the middle of them both. And it's our job to find this Pink Lenny. Uh, and uh, yeah, see how we get on. So we're going to. Oh, by the way, this Once is an exclusive glitch. glitch for this uh, version because usually it's the same as the PS1 version, but this is an exclusive glitch. You can't just drive under it don't, and hit the checkpoint, it counts. Oh, we got a good pattern, thank Lord. Yeah, so there's a few missions like this as well, which are literally pretty good times for, well, just kind of talking and in general and relaxing. Yeah, it's not a lot Chicago to too. Yeah, there's, there really isn't too much to it. Uh, this is just tailing, so... Point A to B. You see the proximity meter, you do, I need to keep it like in the middle. If it goes through one side or the other, I fail. So just don't don't go too close, don't go too far. Just follow him. It's So I'm good. Obviously, there's multiple patterns that the AI can take because he's on a... He's basically on the rail. He has infinite mass. He's doing the same thing every time. And the traffic is also the same every time in these missions. Like, it's pretty much programmed with the... Uh, with the, uh, when they did the, they recorded this uh, drive, Drew. There's uh, also a couple of things as well that we need to mention. So, um, one of the things that we do need to kind of clarify as well um, is that even though you can hear right now you've got Driver 2 music in here, you can actually modify the game um, and put in a Driver 1 soundtrack. Yep. Uh, so, all the music changes to the Driver 1 soundtrack. So, if Driver 1 was more your jam, which it is for me, uh, then you can put that in place of Driver 2. Not to say Driver 2 soundtrack is crap or I'm anything. I'm just used to it, so... But yeah, you, you can have like both Driver 1 music in Driver 2 and vice versa. Okay, um, here's a little trick. I'd probably watch out. No, it's fine, it's intended, because I need to get quite close, because I need to do this. Okay, that was pretty close. It's Ooh. fine, it's all part of the plan. So, uh, the ending point of the mission, thankfully, is still based on me. So, if I can get ahead of him and reach the end before he does, well, the mission's gonna end quicker, so that's in my favor. Oh, anyway, yeah, so. this oh. is where hard difficulty cops are gonna come through. Hopefully they don't aren't yeah. too bad. I guess you can explain what the what's special about them on this difficulty. Ooh, yeah, that's so <laughs> in the um, in the so the police chases for driver two can oh. be a bit ruthless. Oh, we only lost one. Uh -oh. Um, oh, that's not too bad. No, that's quite bad actually for this oh. part. <laughs> that's <laughs> never mind. That's then. I stay encrypted. Um, that's three. three. I'm gonna say okay, this is gonna wreck pretty fast. The guy's gonna spawn here though. That's the issue. Okay, right. He he turned himself around. Oh, maybe yeah. Not. So the police in so. The, the difficulty, it says, like, game difficulty, it's more like cop difficulty, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, on easy, they are literally Oop, very easy. Another. There's no dollar. And another. And another. <laughs> That's going to so, get expensive quick, apparently. Yeah, so with the easiest cop difficulty, obviously, it's uh, relatively what it uh, says on the um, Okay. <laughs> then you get AI that do this. But, yeah, obviously, the harder the difficulty, the harder the AI. Not, uh, not only are the AI faster on the hard difficulties, they are also more invincible, can we call it? Yeah, they have more they're health. Not, they're not... They're not Completely invincible. But they have um, more health, pretty much. But they are, yeah, they, they are ruthless. Um, okay. So everything's kind of turned up to 11 with this run. But for the most part, Chicago doesn't really give us too many problems. No, it's not too bad. But um, yeah, like, yeah, as you can see, they're really close to me. Because yeah. how the game, like, handles the cop car is that they make... Uh, the cop car will speed up to catch you up. But as soon as they're close to you, they'll slow down and match your speed. Depending on your felony. If you have enough felony, like I'm currently at, like, I'm pretty much full. At that point, oh, that wasn't <laughs> Nice. Yeah, ex expect We're not counting that crash, are we? No, that doesn't count. Oh, that's, that's, that, not, that was that. that's not me. That's coming out the police retirement. Yeah, exactly. That, that that, they can pay that one. Yeah. But um, um, yeah, no. Oh. Like what was I was saying, like they're gonna match your speed. The thing is, the, if you, your family goes about like half, more than halfway, uh, instead of slowing down when they do, they'll keep going at full speed and ram you if you like slow down to make a corner or anything. So you do need to try to manage your failure and keep it as low as possible, because at around 20% you get two cop cars spawning, at around 40% you start to get roadblocks, like those. Uh, oh, and the difficulty also changes the roadblock. Uh, the higher the difficulty, the, uh, the like more condensed the roadblocks are. The funny thing is as well, so... Also here's a nice feature. Well, yeah, you get so you the get these two. This is it, yeah, go on, sorry. Was that what you are going to explain? Yeah. Um, okay, well, go ahead then. Well, there was that, and also, um, so, for the most part, another. anyway. <laughs> there we go. Right, Whoops. yeah, so for the most part, um, the uh, the police have like, a, should we call it like a radius about where the endpoint yeah. is? I'd oh, say. that's a bad pattern. We're not doing that. Yeah, so whilst survivors doing this mission, um, so oh, there sure. is Get in. basically like in most missions, there is speed. <laughs> we, I don't know, we'll call it like a, 
an endpoint exclusion okay. zone where police are basically told to back off. So even if they're chasing you 100 miles an hour, they actually have to back off. Yeah, they... so you can beat the mission. But in a fair few missions, which you might see, um, what will end up happening is that the police will not lose you, and they will keep chasing you. And it really is cop RNG. So you do have to be careful in that regard. Yeah. Um, another thing is as well. So the guy is in the blue car at the moment, by the way. So you, at this point in the story, um, we found out that Pink Lenny's got uh, a lot. I think he's got like he's working with a few henchmen or something. Yeah, like he's an that. accountant for Boulder for everyone now, and, and um, the Vasquez, I think. That I apparently, seen the story so long. when we went to that safe house, so when we followed this Brazilian guy, uh, it turns out that. Um, there was a bunch of documents in some boxes. It turns out that they were completely fake. Um, and the guy that gave us the information to look at the old about regarding what was going on, um, it was a case of, oh, oh dear, uh, they're all fake, so we can't use them. Um, but we can also get them done for it. Obviously, they think, right, well, we'll probably end up having a point where, well, in one part or another, yeah, okay, it's all fake, we can't do anything, but we can't actually bring him up on any charges, that sort of thing. So, when you get okay. chased back to the safe house, you get back, basically, your hotel, your apartment, whatever. Um, the guy in the blue car, coming up to the point, going full circle, uh, is a guy called Jericho. Now, Jericho is a reoccurring character in the Driver series, apart from Tanner himself and also Jones. Um, Tanner was in uh, pretty much most of the Driver games by a few. Jericho has been in, okay. I think this is his first appearance in the series, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, also, I'll whilst we're your... talking about this, um, yeah. so Jericho is a henchman of Kane. Kane has a compound because during the end of the last mission, the start of this one, Kane decided it'd be a good idea. Basically, we followed him into this compound and realized, wait a minute, we're, we're trapped, basically. Yeah, this is uh, a maze, but as you can see, yeah. uh, they haven't, in their mind, they were expecting you to like drive around and say, oh, this block is, this pad is blocked. I'm and just go through. Yeah. It's much quicker than like doing the actual like, quote unquote intended route. Unfortunately, there's a one part that there's a specific trick to when you that I'm gonna have to do to get out. I don't guarantee you I'm gonna get it because it's pretty precise and my plan to do it is still just eyeball it. So yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> oh we can try. Yeah well we'll definitely try but oh that's a wall another dollar. <laughs> uh so yeah there's gonna be a bit crashing there so that doesn't count but I'm gonna try to clip through that little gap over there. Like behind me, between yeah. the semi truck and the the wall. The semi truck is not a vehicle; it's just. Ooh, hi there, fella. Guess we're going for a donut spin. There we go. Yep. Okay, come with me. Uh, this is not a vehicle. This is basically a wall. I'm gonna try to get in, get the van to squeeze me through here. Please work. Hello. Thank you. There we go. Nice. Woo. Okay, you have no idea how this how much uh, that trick uh, scared me because this is so hard to get. Yeah. So norm normally when we do the run, by the way, just as a, a quick heads up. Normally we play the run on the easiest difficulty. Obviously, easiest is well the fastest. Yeah, because they so have the hardest for not just for survival for anybody. It makes it way more harder. Uh, something we notice during practice as well is the fact that for some odd reason that particular cut seems to be a bit more difficult on hard because the, the van, the, the camera and the van is a bit like all over the place. It's normally yeah, like slightly see, yeah. above so you can see. Like you can but, see, I yeah. couldn't see where I was going. So that's why it's a bit hard. You, can, you kind of just need to line it, eyeball it, and then adjust it just from... F f <laughs> okay, so this is rain physics. Uh, it's just light here, it doesn't do much. In fact, it's almost easier for you because the AI cannot drive to save the life in, in Speaking the rain. of which, there's a good few things we can probably mention at this point. So weather effects was in the original driver one. They were upped a little bit in driver two and um, there was various different times of day in driver two as well compared to driver one um you did have day and night um and apart from los angeles which i think was in night only yeah however because of the community and again the reverse engineering now driver two did have different times of day but thanks to the pc port and the community efforts around it uh, you're actually able in this version you're actually able to not just select day and night but you're oh. also able to select dawn and what's oh, the other one? that's early to lose them because i'm going like early morning something like that yeah, i need to go through an intersection and i kind of don't want to deal with these guys but they despawn quite uh, yeah okay uh, should, be fine. should yeah, be fine yeah i can just go do that okay yep yeah so it's like i think it's like early morning late evening or something yeah, like that but there's a day morning. and a night cycle um and if you pick them on take a ride and you're driving for long enough um 
the if you're sorry if you're driving at dawn, it will start to go into daytime and vice versa. It'll start yeah, to go just nighttime. Yeah, making it more visually interesting. Which is quite cool. It's not something that we're really too fussed about for the speed run, but it is uh, like a, a neat little feature that's in the game. It's Again, a good new feature. Remember, PS1 game. So like the fact that the daylight, uh, the sun came up on this game was like, oh my god. Oh, you can even pick the time. You can even pick the weather as well. That's something you couldn't pick in the original PS1. So game. yeah, like for PS1 standards, that was pretty impressive. Obviously, that one is like, well, what's the big issue? And I think one last thing definitely is worth a massive mention um, is that there is a modding community at yep. Driver 2. Um, people have modded in, like, the fonts have been modded, the, the cars, the engine sounds. One thing in particular that we can both talk of from experience, there is an entire mod pack by yeah. the name of Alt Mod Pack. Um, that turns the game up, even on the easiest difficulty, turns the game up to 11. Um, basically, in the first mission, you don't get any cops whatsoever. I'll start Chicago, done and dusted. Oh, didn't try. oh that's pretty not good. I mean, eh, for my um, standards, it's not, but I'll, t I'll take it for a maritime. A bit. But yeah, the old mod pack good, is good, just good. ridiculous because they have, uh, you have like a load of police chasing you on the first mission, which you don't normally have. The amount of police you can have chasing you at one time is up from like four till six in the finale. It's oh, just, it's chaotic. It's insane. Um, and the thing is as well, if I remember correctly as well, so you did a run for McCrayathon of this, didn't you? Yeah. And it was the hard, it was the alt mod pack. I think, was it on the hardest difficulty? No. No. Because <laughs> we used to be there. Casually, it was on the hardest I, difficulty. Casually, I did it on hard. It took like three days. Yeah, it's one of them games. Like, oh, I'm still close. Young. Okay, uh, so this is another tailing mission, so there's not much happening. So if you had any, anything you want to mention, uh, go ahead. All I'll mention is that we replaced Matako because we don't believe that he's cool enough to, to <laughs> host for this run. So, <laughs> hello everybody, my name is Skenmi, you can call me Paul, I'll be with you for the Driver 2 run. Uh, don't forget all of the donations uh, coming in will go to Alzheimer Fonden, Sweden's national fundraising charity for Alzheimer's and dementia related Jesus. diseases. And don't forget, when you make a donation, on the right hand side of the donation screen, make sure you assign it to an incentive. All you have to scroll across, if you're on desktop. I wonder where the Scottish accent went. I say Scottish accent. It, sorry, Irish accent. Matako I, I can't. is definitely Irish. Oh, um, dude. I'll make sure to tell him you Irish that. accent. There we go. I'll get it eventually. Started a war there. Eh? I don't know. So, how, yeah. many, how many crashes are we at currently? 13? Oh, okay, not too bad. Not doing too bad. 13 bucks. I'll start a counter over here. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So, we're at 13. I mean, the, the audience already, uh, already has that job, but sure, you can help them. Okay, so again, same deal as the previous. Oop, I need to skip. Uh, same time as the previous uh, mission, I'm getting ahead of him uh, just to end the mission as quick as possible to hit the trigger. Okay, now we start getting in the bad hard bit. Is this the bad pattern? No, this is a good one. Okay, on oh no wait, this oh, is the bad it? pattern. <laughs> Never mind. Are we sure? Okay, so I don't want pattern that goes to the right because I need to take that van and drive it to a camp town. He's not right again. No, this oh, is the right one. Okay. Yeah, there's two three dirty. That's the issue. Okay, so hard difficulty is going to be pretty painful because the guy chasing me is pushing me into him. Which uh, is convenient for one thing, but bad for another. Yep, yeah, okay, I just need to hit him once, I think. Speed, come on, do your job. Eventually. The truck. Okay, there okay we now go. I'll just okay, kill that's... this guy. I'm... There we go. That's, uh, a good, that's, a good, I... that's a good hit. This is another oh, reason God. why we speedrun on, uh, on easy, because on easy they have way less health. It's, honestly, it's the main reason, because... That's the truck. That's the yeah, no. There, we, there go. we go. Okay, cool. And I think with, when you are, you're chased by the cops or by pursuer in this case, uh, you're not allowed to leave the car. That, that's how you, in fact, can fail uh, like a mission if your car gets destroyed while you're getting chased. Uh, so I need to actually take him out before I can leave the car and get in the van. And now I can deliver it. But that's why, uh, like the previous pattern that went to the right, that's why they want you to use it. Because as you see, I'm going to the left of the of where we spawn. So going to the right, it obviously just add a bunch of driving that I don't, I don't want to do. So I'm going to send you there, thank you. Yeah, so this is another thing as well. So during this mission, as if it wasn't hard enough that you had to take the truck down, you also have to escape any henchmen in it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a terrible exactly. introduction to like destruct mission, destru uh, destruction mission. Like it's way too hard. Like you have an uh, angry like pursuer to deal with. You need to keep the fan healthy. You need to then deliver in the it next mission while pursuer still spawns. Yeah, th so this one's difficult, but the next one is even worse. So the next one is stop the truck. I think this one is worse, honestly. <laughs> is it? I, I'd personally, I'd I think this one is worse, honestly. Okay, so get out, press the button, get in, get out. Tanner, get out, thank you. Well, yeah. Talking like down. Driver 2 and everything as well, um, is that we probably should give a mention to Red Ricky as well, who, yep. who oh, good did a fair few, good, uh, fair few good runs as well. Yeah, 
Good uh, buddy of mine did and, some uh, speed on this. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Eric. He couldn't be here, unfortunately, but um, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Nice. We got the good cycle. Ooh. -hoo. It's fine. That's what I want. I just want to get out ASAP. Yeah. So I so, like use the e-brake and spin at the same time. So if your car is like in the air, the uh, tanner just get out of the car instantly, even if there's like momentum to it. Else, you need to actually like stop the car to get out. Yeah. So sure. I think probably now will be a good time to talk about patterns, really. Yeah. Realistically. So in each chase mission, there is a certain amount of patterns, not. Saying it's like a set amount, uh, but the timer is usually gives it away of about what. Yeah, that's what we're is. using to tell which pattern we got. And yeah. To know, okay, is this a good one? So this one's like the best one to get for this one. Yeah. There's two patterns. There's like four patterns. There's a 141, a 147, and 148, and a 150. I use the 150 and the 147 because in those two I can do what I just did there, like park my car in the front of him and just get like, like balance on him sort of. And that just racks up damage and just makes it uh, just destroy him pretty quickly. Also, once you get past, so once you stop the truck and you do this, uh, this bit is actually a cakewalk. So it's, it's yeah. not, you won't have to worry about police chasing you or any enemy cars or anybody like that. Yeah, thankfully in this, in this mission, compared to the first one, the one before, there, there's no person would responding. So it's just you this, and this the. This is now uh, uh, Havana Truck Simulator. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, is it, a is it a truck or a lorry? What would you call um, it? A, a van, mostly. <laughs> Need some leader. <laughs> it's a van. I don't know. Like, it's not that big, to be fair. Yeah. So I think. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else as well. Uh, yeah. About patterns? Yeah. Uh, so with, with patterns as well, it's not, like I said, it's not just a case of chase missions. It's also tailing missions. You may have seen yeah. Survivor Reset a couple of times already. Uh, but there is a reason for that, mainly because of the fact that. If you get a bad pattern, you take too long, and yeah, it's all about obviously we're yeah, here for speed running. At the I guess end of we the did day. in Chicago, like in Chicago, in the long mission where, where we should follow the blue, we well, we'll chase the blue car more specifically. Uh, you saw like I got a, f a first pattern that was two minute ten, and I reset for that. Uh, obviously, in those missions, there's not much I can do apart from just following. There's no destruction, so that I need to just get the quickest one possible. And two minute ten is way too cool, too slow, so I just reset and just get a quicker pattern. Uh, nope, Ooh. I didn't want to get in, I just want to press the button, Tanner. There we go. Okay, that was sloppy, but sure. Okay, so that's another hard mission, and now to an even harder one. Because <laughs> Havana's hell, the start of Havana is miserable. Here's the buzz, Tanner. Four oh, cars. It was a buzz. Yeah, it was a buzz. Well, sure. Okay, so I need to destroy but... four cars, except this time the cars have uh, AI. They're driving by themselves, and they don't have infinite mass like we just... Ooh, okay. Like what we just saw. So this is probably going to be shown where the uh, price counter is going to go pretty hot, pretty high. I was going to say as well, like this is this is the other thing as well. So there are missions where you need to destroy vehicles legit, not just grind up against them. Like yeah, because in the do. chase mission they have infinite mass, so you kind of just okay, you kind of just like rub your car against the other car and slowly rack up the uh, damage bar. But in this mission, I actually need like to ram like how you would think how to destroy another vehicle. Also, the other thing as well is the next mission is connected to where you finish this. Yep. So if you're when you're doing a run of this, uh, please don't run left, of please this, don't left. Oh, don't thank left. you. This so when is you, good. When you're doing a run of this, your time overall isn't decided by this one mission. It is decided by the whole mission and the next one. So, for example, it's like on, on one hand you might be able to beat this. Sneeze on him once. There you go. There, you go. Go. there we go. So one down, three to go. No oh, better. Um, if you can get in the car, there we go. Eventually. Um, also, this is your thing as well. You have to beat all four cars. You can't like go for the one at the end because it hasn't spawned yet. You yeah. have to take each car. This is the painful part. I really wish the mission wasn't like this, where it was like, here's four cars, go after the one that's got you it. You can make a mistake and just really um, mess up the, uh, the run, because like all the cars always spawn at the same spot, and they, when they're off screen, they always try to drive for the same spot. When they're on screen, they're still trying, but they fail most of the time, because they really can't drive. So most of the time they just get lost. Also, speaking of bad AI driving, get him. There we nice. Go. This so is really good, honestly. Speaking of bad AI driving, one of the main ones um, that is an absolute pain is is called Find the Clue. Okay, this is actually kind of um, bad. He's going so... next to the other guy where he's going to spawn. Hey, he's trying. Okay, now he's going away, so that's fine. Let's turn right, or is he not? Uh, he's, he's supposed to, but he might just fail it. Like I said, the AI sometimes just. Oh, that's good. Oh, there God. we go. Nice. Uh, by the way, the damage, how does it count? It counts if you hit him, and if they take damage right after, it's also count. But anything else, like if they crash in a car by themselves and you, you didn't do anything, that doesn't count. That won't give them any damage. Also, it's the only thing you do yourself. For me, this is my favorite car in Havana. I don't know why, I absolutely love the sound of it. There is a car in GTA 5, I believe, that also sounds very similar, believe it or not. I don't remember having it on one of the online games. 
Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, because if I'm too far away, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Okay, well, that's good enough for my standards. There we are. Uh, I'm gonna move the car because I'm scared I was gonna soft like there. There we are. Oh, never mind. I was gonna get out the other side. Because, yeah, you can. The hitbox to get in a car and the hitbox to get out of the car is not the same. So you can get in the car and get stuck in it. And obviously, that car is already, like, dead. So it doesn't drive anymore. So. You're just soft lock. You're just stuck in the car and just waiting to. Well, you have to reset straight up the mission. The game won't actually fail you. It'll let, it'll let the mid diamond go down, but you'll you won't be able to play. So you have to. Bug that I did actually get during this mission um, a while ago was I accidentally flipped the last car onto its side when I wrecked yeah. it, and it failed the mission. Normally the car tips onto its wheels, but for some reason it just didn't. Oh, it failed. Yeah. I never had that. It, it counted as a mission fail because it was on its side, but then didn't flip oh. over. And I was like, shouldn't it just flip? But either okay. way, yeah, physics are a bit more different on this game compared to the original. That's something I need to um, worry about then, because I yeah. never had that. It's happened like once or twice, but nothing like too concerning. Okay, um, so we need thing, to catch this guy. One okay. thing we can mention um, about this game, by the way, is that the damage model is way more lenient. Um, it doesn't seem <gasps> like it. Okay. But it is. Um, in driver one, you could rub a wall or rub a car and your damage re Whereas on this one, it is like... Um, also, ooh, where's he going? I don't think he knows either. That generally isn't too bad. We've, I think we got him stuck. That's pretty good. And you also got battered too. Okay, nice. that's pretty good. Nice. Final clue. I'm happy to go with that. 247 is more than good. Nice. Okay, and like we said, we. Whoa! Oh, hey, we got that glitch! Physics, whoa, okay. okay I'm gonna get out this car because that car got beat up. That's not a dollar. <laughs> unless you want to count it, I guess. I'm, glad, I'm actually quite glad we got that one. Okay, so yeah, this is an issue with uh, uh, this game. Sometimes there's two cars that spawn instead of one, uh, so you just fly it into <laughs> space. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's the first time I've seen that happen for quite some time. Yeah, same. It's been a while since I got that. I kind of forgot about it. But yeah, sometimes there's instead of one car, there's two cars spawning. Yeah, so this is the reason why I was saying when we were saying before with um, with your with your t up or down on time, you won't know until you've beaten this mission because yeah, it's dependent on where you finished. Yeah, and obviously oh, so then how far you've got to get from one to the other. Boat jump. I'm gonna slow down because I don't want to beat the car in the water. Okay. It's quite easy to overshoot or miss the boat. I've done it. I lost a run to missing the boat. And that's actually a mission, by the way, yeah. Yeah, that's and it. that's... Let me tell you, yeah. it's quite frustrating to lose a world record run when you're... Because you just overshot the boat. That grey car, by the way, that we just gone past. Uh, just quickly point this out. So on the PS... Another one coming. But you see that in the PS1 version, it's like, oh, okay, there's... That's a dollar. There you go. That's another. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the, the grey colour on the cars is not something you actually see much of in Havana. You like, you saw it in Chicago, the car was grey. But in Havana, it's not a common colour. Um, not amongst traffic anyway, or even regular cars. Not in the PS1 version. No, in this version, they swapped it, though, so because we saw, this, just saw like, one. The, yeah, they introduced it into the actual colour palette, so believe it or okay. not, now you can actually get grey cars. It's a silly little gimmick that I thought I'd mention, but, like, yeah, it wasn't in the PS1 version. So that was a oh, somewhat a new jump. addition as well. Yeah, there's some tweak like that, just, like, colour, just... Also, fixed, like, world's issues. best police roadblock. He yeah. actually just was like hijacking anything. He was like, yeah, we'll just use trucks, cars, whatever we can get around. Yeah, I, I think it's supposed to look like a car accident with the cops like attending, but that's the only time it happens in this game. I I, uh, I don't know. I think it might have been like like some set pieces they had tried to add it and ran out of time because this game was quite rushed. So there's a lot of corner being cut everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, ni nice and easy. So, right. I mean, most of the missions, by the way, for I think it's... For those that haven't played Driver or the Driver series in, uh, as a whole, the first two games in particular, I'm not really 100% sure with the third oh, one, because I have to kind of go back with the third one, um, is that uh, most of, of, of the missions involve literally driving from A to B. They're, they're nothing like too difficult. I mean, the police are the main factor in a Driver game. Well, they're not too bad until you play on hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, uh, they, are, okay, like, they're really they are the main, like, the main antagonist. I guess you'd call them the main antagonist of the game. The yeah, well, I mean, they're the main obstacle, really. Uh, well, antagonist of the That's run, of say, not the actual story. So, yeah. That's the bread and butter of this game, is dodging the cops. Mm. Which is also mm, the okay. reason why this might this might switch a lot of people off, but, um, yeah, it's usually the reason why this game is difficult at the same time. Yeah, it's the police. Right. One done. Ooh. 
Also, are we counting any time that the game crashes your car for you? Are we counting that as one? Are we counting what? Like every time, so you said about the every time you hit something. Yeah. Like accident. Yeah. What happens if the game does it for you? Like you spun around and hit the barrier. Would that count? Sure, no, that's a dollar, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Added okay, to you're, lucky then. you're lucky either way, but still. Yeah, this could get real expensive real fast now, I said that. Yeah, it's, some mission can go down pretty quickly. Uh, watch out. Okay, thank you. So, uh, in these missions, it's all about like getting the best line and going. Oh, hi there. I took you right. Two. Whoops. Yeah. yeah, nice and easy. Yeah, this, this is the. There's like a. This, there's a two or three uh, driving mission in this moment. After like. Oh, okay. Hi there. <laughs> you know, even crap. I do that. I'm, I, I sit there every chair. I go. Whoa. Yeah, it's it's like <laughs> it's an instinct almost to just lean in. It's, it doesn't do anything. It just. See, us, us doing that is the same as when you lean in, isn't it? Yeah. The game. It's the same. Go that. Like, get more yeah. speed, obviously. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> more power. Okay, so we're past that, we're... But yeah, I was about to say, like, at least these couple of missions are a nice break. It's after, like, the two-track mission, the find a clue mission, once you're in this uh, place, you're like, okay, I, I got something good should, going. Uh, I think we should just quickly catch everybody up with the story of where we are, because we haven't just stopped oh, well, for a bit. Yeah, well, I don't even follow got, it myself. You've got, you've, got the, uh, you've got the follow mission anyway, so whilst you're doing that, I'll quickly explain. So, we came out of Chicago, Ooh, and it turns out that um, they're, like... Uh, Jericho and everything are all heading to, uh, they're all heading to Havana. So they're all going to Cuba. Um, we also find out in the last, at the end of the last mission, so not not this one, not the last one, the one where we had to get to the docks to see Rosanna Soto. It turns out Rosanna Soto isn't a person, it is a ship, and it's going to Las Vegas. Um, and yeah, so that's where we will be going after we finish uh, Havana. Um, so whilst we, we, we've actually found out that Jericho's in town and everything like that. Um, and we, we've got the job here of following him. Now, this mission in particular about following Ooh. him is very, very difficult because he likes to just put his foot down, do a lead foot. And then uh, stop. And then just stop for no reason. Oh, so I was so close at the end. Yeah, that's intended. Wow. If you get close enough, you can take like skip the end cutscene. I never pulled it off. I don't know how it works. Also, another takedown mission, first to Jericho. Hopefully I get a good pattern. New. No. Okay, restart. Because that pattern is terrible. It goes the wrong way. Because this is another mission. Uh, 209? Yeah, 209 is fine. Is it? Yeah, yeah we'll see. <laughs> he did. It. He's already done a. Uh, That's not great. A long one, so it's fine. That's even worse. Uh At you, isn't it? No, he's going to go the other way. I'm going to wait for him. Well, this might be a bad idea. Oh, yeah. actually, oh, okay. Hello. He's going that way. There we go. Nice. That well, that's one way of doing good. it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That works. Nice. We got him. So that mission for me is always a hard one. Um, but now that we've got Jericho, we've actually captured him ourselves. We now need to get into the safe house, which yep. means we need to escape the Brazilians, because it turns out that Vasquez has clocked onto what we're doing. And we're also trying to get Pink Lenny as well as... We need to make sure we take down... K Has, has gone. Ooh, Wait a minute. Okay. You're you're trying to uh, you're you're trying to take Pink Lenny, and you're doing that gang and speaking to Jericho. Right. Okay. We want to speak to him just as much as you do. Hence the reason why they're chasing you. Um, there was a few things to just quickly mention as well regarding oh, we the game That's in bad. general. Um, one of the things that is quite prevalent uh, in this game. So one thing that me and Ricky do, I don't know if you do, if you do it at home, um, is when you install this game, you can install the game without the movie files. Oh. So this actually speeds the game up. Not that much, I'll grant you, um, but it does speed the game up. Ow. Okay. Oh, that well. was like a double whammy, I think. Yep, that's a couple dollars in there. Does it count if they hit you? Sure. Oh, okay. Audience, does that count or does it not? I don't know. It does, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I did okay. the... No, 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 it, it counts. They, they actually decided... It's been okay. voted. <laughs> also, yeah. Okay, well... The other thing is, as well, is uh, Jericho often says push it. Uh, okay. But, uh, that yeah. intersection is hell, because you don't see it. It's blind... Oh, hi there. Okay, oh, you slow down. Okay, Thanks, man. Yeah. He didn't he go for me. Uh, yeah, so Jericho always says push it, and I always think of uh, uh, that night he sung. It's like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay, uh, we've okay. stopped already. We're kind of close. Uh, why are you still there? Uh oh. Okay, uh, he's supposed this to slow down normally. He's. Well, now he's due. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a bit of NASCAR just to lose him. I thought he was making a left turn, not a right. Anyway. Anywho. 
Okay, you know yeah, what? Yeah, it's really weird. He doesn't actually do this. Demo Derby time. There right, we, we go. Okay, right, we got him. Well, that's weird. Usually the save zone is supposed to, like, uh, slow him down, but for some reason he would not stop. He was on the mission. Well, I mean, you heard you were doing a speed run at ASA, so... Yeah, apparently. <laughs> okay, and now drop the car, lock the door, and that's Havana done. It was kind of like, let me in. Two, da let two city me. done in, what, 30 minutes? Just short 34 minutes. Pretty good. Now, I we get to Vegas. So Vegas has decent music, I would say. In my opinion, that's probably the better soundtrack of the lot. The boring um, missions. <laughs> but the missions are literally linear as it gets. So I think if our host has got anything to mention, that would be perfect. Yep. Would you like to win some awesome prizes? Ooh. All it will take is a donation. You can head to prizes.esamarathon.com and you can take a look at all the prizes that are available, including daily prizes and well, prizes that can accumulate over the donations that you make across the entire event. We've got custom PS5s. We've got a limited edition Switch. We've got a little figurines. We've got art. We've got so much stuff. Head to prizes.esamarathon.com to check out what you can win stuff feel free to, to, to donate people it's a good cause so one of the main things as well we, we, we talked about the draw distance being improved on here so a lot of the things that you see in the game here now vegas is interesting because of the fact that i mean mission wise it's relatively linear but in terms of the actual like ps1 versus the the redriver 2 performance on PS1, it tanks so much because it's trying to load in all the massive buildings. Yeah, like there's too much for the PS1 to end all. But on PC, it runs flawlessly. Um, but yeah, there's a, a few recognizable signs there. I think we've got Danny, Denny's, is it? Yeah, Denny. Denny's. Because they couldn't, they, yeah. I guess they couldn't get licensed for Denny's, so they just called it Denny's. Yeah. It, I'm pretty sure it's still an E. I think they. No, I, it's an I. It's, oh, is it definitely an I? Okay, they, didn't right, right. they call it Denny's. Also, we've got, we've oh, got pyramids and everything. Okay, that's Sorry, fine. Sorry, it was out. Yeah, yeah, we've got like pyramids and everything. Yeah, no, here's the, what's the USB Luxor? So, we're not in Egypt, we are in Vegas. But yeah, yeah they, they have got, they did, I think they did a pretty good, I mean, for 2000 anyway. Yeah, again. I like, think they did a pretty good job. Because I think they had games, four so. cities to make. Also, there's a Mountain Dew ad. Yeah. I don't know why there's a Mountain Dew ad. It's only like just actual this. ad, it's just there. I mean, I don't know if you've been to Vegas, but it is this blocky in real life. Yep, all I pixels. So, I yeah, it's very pixelated. Was there a madman driving a red car while you were there? I mean, that's a daily occurrence in Vegas. <laughs> okay, and just go in, there you go, win. Thankfully, they don't make you open the door every time. Like, and, and ah, now, this oh, is this, this is one. an interesting one. So this is a very short mission, but for me, this, as a kid, this was stressful. Yeah. I don't know why, like, now I'll go, ah, uh, it's fine. You but, need to know where to go. If you don't, it's yeah. impossible. But once you know that, you just need to do this. So we actually need to race the train, so we need to beat it, and we also need to get out, get in another car before the train. The train doesn't stop. No. So it just plows into you. If you're not, fat, you really do have to do this quick. Okay. And there's also a glitch as well, which not in the not in this mission, but in Vegas. Uh, if you can get up here in, in like a regular car, get out, and drive. Quick. In, there you go. And drive into the uh, the tunnel. There you go. Okay, we're fine. There you go. Yeah. So if you if you drive into the tunnel, the uh, the game will just like shove you back and just go, you'll go flying back. But if you do it, if you're on foot and you just walk into it, it says you drowned. Yeah, oh, yeah, you for just some reason. So it's on all its way. So I hope you like beeping, because. Yeah. That's going to be that for the next minutes. We've got a car bomb. So what what ha decides to happen here is Vasquez thought it'd be a good idea to send. Uh, oh, there's already come there. He decided to send Kane a nice little present. It's a car bomb. As one does. Uh, as one does. You know, it's if you like someone that much, you, you go, you know what, I'm going to. I'm going to send him a car, but, you know, why not? Um, but uh, Kane has decided, you know what we're going to do? We're going to gift wrap it back. So basically, we're going to just return to sender. So this is us returning it to sender. And no, by return to sender, it means that we are going to blow up his casino. Uh, more specific, well, Kane's casino, anyway. I don't know if the... No, Vasquez casino, we don't... <laughs> Sorry, Vasquez. Kane won't blow up his own yeah, stuff. Up I hope stuff, not. Yeah. I guess well, maybe for insurance. I mean, Jericho might. Fair. But... Or even uh, Hannah, uh, Tanner, sorry, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, sorry, yeah, Vasquez's casino. But yeah, uh, the, the, you know, he tried, he tried. Yep. Uh, I guess something we can mention, like for the felony bar, like I mentioned how, like, what happens uh, depending on how many, how much felony you have. Uh, how you gain felony is there's a couple of ways. Uh, you can gain it by, like, rubbing a car like that, just gaining in an accident. <laughs> Are you trying to make this hard? Oh, that's a dollar. Whoops, uh, two, I just didn't rise. Well, oh well. I've lost count oh, of how many are on now. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> that's like going both like, okay okay that's fine there we go uh, but yeah like you can uh, get more friendly by like uh, getting an accident funny enough hitting 
I guess they couldn't make it so that if the cop car itself uh, crashes into you, it, okay, uh, it, it doesn't give you felony, so they just decide no felony period for cop cars. I was going to say, the cops are going to back up. And, uh, yes, they are. Yeah, no, they all, eventually. Phew. Uh, but yeah, uh, that gives you felony running over pedestrian. Oh, that's... What? Yeah, it's okay, fine. It's far enough. Well. It's far enough, so it won't be an issue, but it... Is it? No, no we, okay. we lost them. Cool. We're good. Phew. Also, now we get to do a, uh, a Tom Cruise, I guess, and just run. This building works. It makes no sense. Also, ready? Boom! Yeah, AG explosion. And apparently, oh, <laughs> I went through the. Yeah. <laughs> also, awesome. the building looks exactly the same. Don't worry about it. Okay, so you're supposed to get chased at the start of the mission. As you can see, there's car, but uh, you can just get in the car and leave. And they're... yeah, it's if, fine. You, if you grind the wall um, and get like stay dead close to it, the cops won't actually come after you. Yeah. However, if you just go like straight ahead and then turn right, them cops will chase you to your car. Um, and... Originally in. So in the original uh, PS1 version, that doesn't happen. You don't get any of this. This was actually something that was added by the community because I believe it was in the beta or something Maybe. like that. Maybe. I like the could not like tell the original you. version of the game. Uh, that's another thing as well. Uh, we're also we're talking about modding. So yeah. through the power of modding and, and the alt mod pack we was on about before, yeah. um, there was additional missions that weren't originally in oh, the game, yeah, yeah. but they were in, the, they were in like a, a beta build or something, weren't they? Yeah. Um, so like uh, Chicago got one after Kane's compound. Instead of doing uh, the Chicago mission, you had to get back to Jones's place or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, something. Something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like an additional mission. Like as between well. the compound and the uh, like mission in the rain, there's a next door mission where you drive back. Yeah, so there's uh, an additional mission in Havana as well. With yep, the trucks. between the two truck missions. Uh, at some point, what, the first truck mission was split in. And back to the compound. Yeah. Uh, but that got cut. And there's another one in Nirvana that will, uh, in Rio, that we'll see eventually. Okay. By yeah, the way, so the three if box in this game is awful. I think it was after boat jump, wasn't it? Is that right? Yeah, it's yeah. after boat jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we'll explain that as we get to it. But yeah, so that's a simple one. That's literally like you just drop the bomb off and then obviously come back. So now we get bank job. Now, funnily enough, so I, I suppose the way I look at bank job is it's fairly straightforward. It's fairly easy. Um, even on the highest difficulty, I think it's relatively straightforward. Um, but this, believe it or not, for those that never got past the car park mission in Driver 1, and there actually was more missions, uh, the bank job was the first mission in Miami. So after you actually did successfully oh, yeah. beat that, uh, the bank job it was the that. first mission in Miami. It's, it's called the bank job. In this one, it's bank job. So I suppose it's like a reference to itself. To itself. There's a couple of missions that we use the name, like steal a cop car, become steal the cop car. Uh, wait, is it the other way around? Yeah, still, still. I think it's still a cop car, and in this, it's still the. Okay, cop car. so I was right. Yeah, I was correct. They only changed one letter. Ooh, Ooh. well done. Ooh. Yeah, um, well, <laughs> but yeah. So I think it's, they're doing their best. Yeah, exactly. It's like we're doing our best. Uh, we could probably quickly open up a little bit more. So yeah. To um, so what Survivor was saying, like right near the start of the run. So yeah, GTA and Driver used to have this like rivalry, I guess, in a way. Um, more, well, it wasn't really a rivalry, I don't think. But well, there was, bit, there was bit some reference between, uh, between both games. Yeah. So Rockstar. I can't remember. DMA. DMA Design. DMA Design. That's the one. Thank you. Um, obviously, I think everyone knows the story. It was named called Quick and Crash, turned into Grand Theft Auto, and there you go. The series begun. Uh, with Driver, they actually tested some of their damage models on earlier games. So Reflections, who made this, uh, as well as the original Driver, made a game called Destruction Derby. You may have heard of it. All right, uh, it after. For the original PlayStation 1. Uh, they released two games in 1995 oh, so and quick 96. Note, quick note, uh, yeah, the game doesn't actually realize you can just go from the other way around. Oh, Speaking of yeah. big trees, there you go. That's a good way to showcase it. Uh, yeah, the game didn't think of yeah, that you arrive from the other side, so it just flips your car right away and assumes you're going from the other way around. Yeah. So, and but it turns out going via the highway is much quicker than going through the, uh, the, <laughs> yeah, uh, the like the industrial game, the park. Game, uh, the game literally goes right. Okay, you went that way. Poof, there you go. Yep, Straight turn back around. The other way, uh, which is always good fun. But um, yeah, so with the, the, the GTA and the driver sort of thing. Um, so, uh, you, Reflections made Destruction Derby one in 1984. Five, I think it was, oh, and Destruction oh, Derby 2 that's way too far. And the avant the damage models they used in them were like their, which were, well, the base, they were the original damage models for Driver. Um, it's not like proven oh, that that was it. Okay, it's fine. Yep, it's fine. <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't proved that that was the actual, like damage models, but that's how they were able to finalize 
making a damage model for Driver when it released in 1999. Should I? Nah, I'm uh, gonna go safely. Uh, yeah, I, technically you could go down the, on the other side and be slightly quicker because it's a sharper lane. Uh, but obviously you're going against the traffic, so that comes with its own share of... With, with, with Driver 2 being like it is, yeah, you do have a PS1 version. There's another thing as well, which are two big things. Uh, one of them is that the, uh, the War Plus thing, we'll get onto that in a quick second because there's a bit more to talk about. Uh, but yeah, with the, oh, yeah if you want to run this part. game, there is a console, if you want to run the game on console, emulator, obviously, for those that want to run on emulator. Or this and port. Also, this port. This is well. the more popular version, to be fair. Yes, it is. Because uh, of the lag again. It removes all the lag, so it makes this game much more pleasant to run. Yeah. And there's, there's that doesn't count, that's intended, because I can just get out instantly and press a button and press run. Box is massive. Okay, this is where it gets chaotic in Vegas. So I need to take down this ambulance, and there's the cop car that's quite angry, because, again, hard difficulty. So I'm gonna get the ambulance to push me a bit. I'm gonna get on site. Don't hit the ambulance! Okay, it's fine. It's quite easy for the cop car to destroy the ambulance, because the cop car doesn't see the ambulance, it's just going for you. So it's gonna go in against everything in the way. Oh, it's already dead. This is quite good. I'd probably hurry up for anything else. Get out. There we go. Okay. I'm out. Okay, I'm just driving. Yeah, let's go. And now we can just relax because there's no cop spawning anymore. Well, once you're driving back to the uh, to the safe house, I guess. Um, yeah, the couple of things to just quickly mention. Yeah, so we, we, we said about the, the console versions and things like that. Now, the main question, which I'm pretty sure everybody is wondering, is why the heck is War Plus in the category extension? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, the category title. So... About, I think it was about a year ago, wasn't it? Roughly uh, a year and a bit ago? More uh, than that. Might be longer No, it's more than that. I started two years ago. two years ago and it was already a thing. Okay, yeah, so it's probably like two, maybe even three years at this point. Uh, there was some, there's someone in the driver community who's also on Driver 2 by the name of Coops, uh, or Coopers, I think it was at the time. Uh, and what had happened was he literally posted the message in the driver Discord saying, uh, guys, I think I may have found something interesting. And I think I've just broke driver two in half. <laughs> so it was like, yeah. okay, sure, what's Under the idea? Statement. So it turns out that if you select, if you do the first mission and you go into replay mission, then you can try this for yourself. It works in any version of the game. Yep. Um, and if you go into, uh, so you start a new game, you complete surveillance tip off for the first mission in the game, you exit out. And then when you go into replay mission, you need to select up and X at the same time. It selects Chicago and Rio at the same time. It gives you missions that it thinks is in Chicago, but it has Rio's picture. So mm -hmm. it comes up with like mission not found or like some, some weird Yeah, line, it's some basically. weird text, like it's obviously not supposed to happen. And if you select the fourth line down, it starts the fourth mission in Rio. So you can literally do mission oh one. Oh boy. So it goes from like out. surveillance tip off uh, in Chicago. And then you literally go from there to save Jones in Rio. And essentially it cuts out about 90 to 95% of the game. So this game goes from like an hour and uh -oh. a half. This oh, is not a great start. Spinning. There we go. Um, yeah, so essentially it goes from like in the, uh, the PS1 version, the game goes from two and a half hours to less than 26 well, minutes um, and then in the PC version we go from like an hour and 20 to about what 15 uh, yeah 18, something, like something like that I can't remember I think it's 14 14 to 14 12, 12 I think yeah, 14, uh, by 12. someone called Brynu we, we looked at it earlier we should know that <laughs> yeah that's true yeah Yoink. you can just <laughs> oh okay so yeah, this and is also, relax. This is this is also another mission that will be very difficult. Um, something that's not in again. There's something we can do in this version that you can't do in the PS1 version, which is when you get right near the end point where you're supposed to get to. If the cops are on you but they can't see you, you can actually beat the mission yeah. because they didn't see you enter the zone. Oh, I guess Normally just... you can actually you ha like in the PS1 version you actually. About this mission, because people may be seeing, uh, seeing this and be like, "Well, this is just A to B, like you've just been doing. Like, what's what's so weird?" Uh, you know the whole safe zone thing we mentioned, like how oh, the cops slow down when you get to the des destination. Uh, yeah, there's a bug that, that doesn't work in this mission. The cop keeps spawning near the airport, and you need to lose the cop, and you're not allowed to leave his car. Yeah. You can probably guess where the issue comes from. So we kind of just pray to our Lord that the cops don't spawn near the, the, the endpoint, 
Yeah. And you can just hit the checkpoint while they don't see you. That's it's thing extremely well. orange dependent. And with, with the felony being at max, it means that when... Uh, again, Survivor mentioned this before, but the, the more your felony bar fills uh, up, I'm gonna the harder it goes. Oh, you... Interesting. Will you? Thank that's, you. That's actually an interesting tactic, though. He actually drove uh, well for a change. <laughs> I wasn't expecting he that. He tried. He tried. Uh, I'm just wondering where the other cop. Oh, he's there. there. Okay, y'all need to hit walls or something. I'm swerving. So this is the one mission in particular. Yeah, okay, this is going to be bad. Him stop. I, can't, I might get him stuck here. Yeah, this isn't going to count. Lose a tail. Yep. Ah, okay, uh, let's do NASCAR. We're going to do circles. Wait, oh, wait, maybe. Go on, shoo. Go away. Will you? Can't really get that. There we go. Okay, he's gone. Uh, no, he's still there. He's still pissed. No, he's gone. Okay. We're we're fine. Okay. For now. Well, even if there's one spawning, uh, there, this is a one way. So yeah, like I can just slow down and wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're so, gonna play this one safe. Oh, we're in the sandwich. <laughs> just play it careful. There we go. Well done. So well, yeah, that's <laughs> probably one of the hardest missions in. Uh, oh, actually, I take that back. And then no, there's this not. guy. There's this guy. Yeah. Okay. So I take that back. I was about to say that's the hardest mission in Vegas. Well, it's not this hard. This one is hard. Well, no, this one isn't hard to do casually. It's hard to do a speed run because you need to do. It's again like finding clue. There's a car you need to destroy. And it, it doesn't have infinite mass, so you actually need to ram it. And it's like broken steering. Like, he, he literally like swerves a yeah, lot. Yeah, he struggles he's a bit. really weird. So this guy will go really well or really badly. And like, there's a bit of a drive to get to him to begin with, so that doesn't help the case here. That's a wall. Okay, we're fine. We didn't hit the wall. I have a feeling it's like at one point I'm like, are you aiming for these people? No, maybe that mime, but no. Okay. Wait, do they have mimes in Vegas? Maybe? I don't know. I've never been to Vegas, so I couldn't tell you. That host maybe help us out on this one? Do they have, do they have anyone's been to Vegas? Vegas? I think the, the, the general vibe of Vegas is that if you can imagine it, it exists in Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So the important thing is I don't want him to like turn onto a highway because uh, it's going to become a driver. He has the same top speed as I am, so we're just going to be stuck, stuck next to each other and just do nothing. So I want him to go on tiny roads, so we actually have to do like corners and things like that. Oh, he's spawned in the oh, middle actually, there. he hit something. Ooh, Where wait. the hell are you going? That's not normal. Okay, well, I mean, that works for me. And I just beans it anyway, because I wasn't expecting it. Where the hell is he going now? This is this is the other thing as well. This please is don't turn, please don't turn, please don't turn. Thank you, okay. <laughs> That's the only thing I was worried about. I'll speak too soon. Where's he going? No, it's fine. This one should be mostly fine. There we go. Yeah. So this is where now... The, the, the uh, you know, the, the dollar thing we were talking about? Yeah, this is Oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, that's going to be a, a good one. Oh, he's not gonna do the. Okay, right. So, I got really unlucky on this once. Um, so okay, this is pretty slow. In the PS1 version, um, there's actually a glitch if you're unlucky, where if he drops. So the building we just went past as well. Oh god. He knows when to slow down, doesn't he? It's weird. Yeah. So there's okay, a, try again. a building in particular which, which he actually drove past as well, um, where the floor is not solid, and he can actually fall out of the map. It's not very often you get that. But if you get it, bear in mind, it's just a complete reset. There's there's no way it's not... Oh, yeah, because you you're you need to get in the car at the end of the mission. So, yeah. obviously, if he's under the map, well, <laughs> there we are. can't do much. Okay, that was pretty sloppy. We'll, we'll have to take it. We take it. We made the mission. That's the important part. Yeah. So, that, like I said, that mission can go really well or really bad. Again, now we've got the last two missions of Vegas, which are really straightforward. Yeah. C4 deal, which is just from point oh. A to point B. <laughs> Um, Too much and speed. we just need to get to... I think it's just a garage, isn't it? We need to get yep. some C4, apparently, because we found out that this in Vegas, Vasquez has a warehouse, and we're gonna, it's got all his supply trucks in it. However, we can't go there with nothing. We have to get some C4 first, blow Vasquez's trucks, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to chase him to Rio. Time? Um, I'm good. Okay. Not too bad, 52 minutes. Yeah, no, this is going quite well. Considering we're playing on high difficulty, this is going super well. Yeah. So normally on easy like, difficulty, most missions are relatively straightforward. Um, oh, speaking of difficulties, actually, we can probably quickly mention um, yeah. the easiest difficulty on this. I think, if I'm not right, if I'm wrong in saying, uh, is actually easier than it is on the PS1. Apparently, yeah, there's some weird issue like with the difficulty curves. Uh, so the difficulty don't scale exactly as they do in PS1. Well, the way I put it was like easy is well easy. Yeah. Medi medium is the easier difficulty on PS1, and then hard is either 
medium or hard on PS1. Now. It's a bit, yeah, it's not exactly. It's like a weird It's mix, not a one to one, like a, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's like a hybrid mix. It's weird. Yeah. You might be fixing the latest version, honestly. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> For all I know. But yeah, we'd highly recommend it. Um, the other thing we can probably mention as well, which is related to Driver, but not Driver 2, um, is the fact that, so the guy who re helped reverse engineer this as well as. The oh, yeah, Soapy. Well, I guess we should Soapy. mention him, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a guy called Soapy, I briefly mentioned him back at the start, but yeah, uh, he basically allowed this game to be playable, <laughs> yeah. we'll call it, um, on PC, and it was able to be actually like run and things like that, so big shout out goes to Soapy. Uh, whilst we're on the topic of Soapy, actually, and the Drive community as a whole, um, so obviously the Drive community has a fair few games in the series, but the Drive community have a game known as the Driver Syndicate, which is basically yep. a... It's not got Ubisoft's name on it or reflections or anything like that. It's a game that they came up with single, like on their own, didn't they? They had several people work on it, uh, Soapy being like one of the main guys. Um, and yeah, long story short, they're making, you know, like, you, like the IP is pretty much dead for Driver at this point. Um, but that's not stopped the, um, you know, the, the community. community from actually doing anything. Um, and funnily enough, about, I think about two, was it two, three weeks ago, I did actually a run of. Uh, Driver 1's My Oh, missions, yeah. Who's uh, have been there? On I Driver Syndicate. I think, I think it was for Indiethon. <laughs> Something like Something that. Something along those lines. Um, but yeah, so that's also another thing. Again, that's also free. Um, you can get access to it on the Driver Madness Discord, uh, if that takes your fancy. The speedrunning part is just kind of, well, why not? Um, but the actual, like, playing it through is quite good. Um, so it's basically... How do I put it? It's, it's a driver fan made port. Yeah, it's a fan. Um, it's a fan game, pretty much. And yeah, you can mod anything into it. There's maps that have been created uh, of previous driver games. There's been maps mm -hmm. created of like GTA games and stuff as well. Uh, so don't worry about like Tanner. That. For some reason, he has three piece of C4 to play down. He decided yeah. 14 seconds is good there enough you. to get out. And there you go. So that's with that we have Vegas done. Yeah, and now is the final. How much? Oh, it's pretty good, I think. So now we get into Rio. This Rio is where is, it gets painful. Yeah, so Rio is where Better. it gets difficult. Because um, the driving points. missions are really long. Like you can see, this yeah. is a five minute, drive, like six minute, in fact, driving mission. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to be driving exactly the NF1 car. No, exactly. So. A lot of the cars, by the way, are based on real ones. So supposedly this was based on a Mercedes Benz. I don't know. Yeah, what like an model, SL, SL something. Yeah, a lot of the cars are based on models. Um, what's the same for? Oh, yeah, Driver Syndicate. Yeah, so it is a community based project. Um, you can download it for free. Um, it is in the Driver Madness Discord. Just simply look up Driver Madness Discord. Oh, even just Google. Put it in there. Whoops. Um, and yeah, you, could, you can actually, long story short, you can easily just. Uh, get it installed and yeah, start playing some random driver game that you've probably never heard of. Um, and yeah, they, they do have missions and things like that. The Driver Syndicate itself, on its own, um, is a work in progress game. And uh, by basically, it's made by driver fans for driver fans. Yep, so if you're ever much. a fan and you couldn't wait for a driver game like we didn't, um, then yeah, it's a case of it keeps us going for more, you know, that sort of thing, which is quite nice. Uh, um, so definitely go and check that out. By the way, random question, how's the uh, car crash counter? 55? Oh, okay, 65. wow. <laughs> okay, way, worse. way more than we thought. <laughs> We're even near the end, okay. Well, oh well. So yeah, this is what we have to drive. It's not quick, it's heavy, it takes a lot of room, and it's gonna get even worse. We'll see. Also, world's fastest bus. It's pretty much the slowest vehicle is, as it gets, I think. Like, I think it has the slowest power speed of everything possible. It's definitely the slowest thing in Rio, that's for sure. Oh, well, here's another one to the pile. Yeah, so the bus is super slow, but... Um, and big, and doesn't handle all that well. It's miserable yeah. to drive. And it, and it's, it's not just that we'd have to drive the bus, because here it's, it's not that bad, because, like, it's a pretty open road. Uh, but we'll, you'll see what kind of road we need to get to, to get to our end destination. Because hmm. I, I guess... Whoops, coming through. I guess we got that as just one, because there were several cars of one. Sure, <laughs> going to be generous. Uh, I, how we can explain how traffic works? Because like tra there's a limited amount of like traffic cars that can be in the uh, that been spawned, and the tra the game spawns it all all around you if where it's possible. And in Rio, as you can see, it's tiny roads, so the traffic is just going to spawn at, as much as possible. Also, this is a one way we're driving against the traffic in a bus. You can probably guess what is going to go. This is quite bad. There's a crash. Yeah, so this counter is now where it goes through. Uh, I'm going to use that camera. I was going to say, yeah, I, that's... 
Switch the oh, I yeah. hit something somewhere we've, in there. Something. That's free. Yeah. The thing is, this boss is a tank, to be honest. So Thankfully, yeah, it's quite resistant. Out of all the cars you can hit, it's just like, yeah. I'd say it's almost as tough as the limo in the President's Run on Driver 1, but I'm not going to go that far. Uh, maybe. That thing was tough. That thing oh, will take that's... a punch. I mean, it's still a difficult mission, but hey, there you go. There's actually a glitch for that mission, by the way. Feel free to look it up if you wish. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, there you go. I can't make it. Okay. You know, actually just watch the glitch. That they oh, go. I completely whiffed it. Okay, well, that's... Yeah, okay. so we now need to well, destroy I'm that up. the cars, uh, which are relatively straightforward. Yeah, if, the idea would just like slide off that car and hit those two cars. Like, I kind of like that. Okay, now I'm allowed to leave the bus, so I'm going to do that ASAP, so... Oh, there's a T-Bird, that's good. Just this is probably my favorite part of the city, because it handles really well. Just, say, just make sure you don't um, block the entire road like I did once. Yeah, no, you need to leave yourself a little bit of room. But yeah, so we're not actually... So you notice up until this point, we've not actually had any sort of enemies chasing uh, over Which one is the... Chase. Oh, is that one? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. So it turns out that uh, Vasquez's boys have been keeping an eye on us. And uh, yeah, they're not very happy that we just wrecked their cars. So... Unsurprisingly. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get chased. I mean, would you like it if, uh, yeah. if somebody actually smashed your car up? I don't think you would. I don't think you'd be like, yeah, this is fine. Oh, there's another guy that's fine. He's there somewhere. Oh, he's yeah, he's just fine. having fun with the wall. He's not doing well. Yeah, so the police in Rio, um, they can be a bit ruthless. They're not like but that it's less hard, the, but they can They have the same bit. AI. Yeah. It's, it's less that the AI is harder, it's more that the city is much harder to go through because like, it's all like mostly small roads with uh, tiny sidewalks. And again, not all, most of the roads are like isolated, so all the spawns from the traffic are in your, the road you're driving to. And, and like, around here, like, you can see there's a bunch of roads around, so like, there's cars like there, so there's less traffic in my way. So, so that's the first mission in Rio done. Uh, does that count? Sure, I think <laughs> we said yes earlier, so okay, yeah, right. it, now it counts. Alright. Oh. Okay, another quite tough one, especially this on hard difficulty is really rough. Like, yeah, it's, it, so... We tried it earlier and I got, got it once and failed it any other time, so... Yeah, it's pretty hard casually. Um, so we have to get from where our safe house is, we have to get from there to the local police station where we are going to steal a police car. Steal um, the police car. Sorry, steal the police car. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we've got to get from there back to the safe house, which... It's the different it safe seem, house. It does not seem like it's that far, but your start point and end point are completely different places. Yeah, because we're going basically to the north of Rio. So yep. it's a really long drive. It's rain physics, and there's cops chasing you because you're in the cop car, which has a lot of felony. So there's the roadblocks and everything already to give into you. Oh, well, actually, speaking of dry, driver in general, um, so we mentioned about like the driver syndicate. There's mm. one thing that we didn't mention about. Uh, which is called Open Driver. Um, so yep. This is a like open project that you can download. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the same you can run in like a browser or something like uh, that. I, I never tried it, honestly. Yeah, me neither. Okay, <laughs> so this is this project, K so. part just quickly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, we have a decent amount of felony. We have a cop car. Thankfully, the game is lenient because normally in the, with at this amount of felony, there should be two cops spawning, but the game limits it to one for this mission, just to be slightly reasonable. Oh, this is a bad spawn. Hi there. Oh, we're flying. Uh, oh, this is bad. I'm pretty sure this mission failed. Maybe not. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're saved. There we go. Like nothing ever happened. So do we count five for the flip? Uh, oh. Yeah, sure. I'll throw, a I'll throw a fiver in there. Okay, yeah, we're... Like we, we, didn't, we, we didn't actually have uh, flips on our bingo card today. So. No. Okay, we're at 60% damage. We're, we just barely got through this road. So this is uh, bad. We'll put it that way. Yes, yeah, so I, I think one thing in particular, which everybody maybe is not, which... I'm going to send you... Oh, I was hoping oh, okay. to send you down there, but that didn't um, work. Yeah, so one thing that's very synonymous with Driver 2, I think, and just Driver in general, is the survival mode, because I think anyone who's played oh, Driver will be Okay, out. Okay. Yeah. Don't mind the noise. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm going full left there. The game doesn't really know what to do with, like, uphills, corners, yeah, specifically. Like, you like the suspension just collapse. Yeah. Ow! Okay, this is... Yeah, I think this is going to be a mission fail. Uh, oh, no, okay. keep going. Yeah, but I need to go off in the off ramp here, and he's, like, on me. Yeah, maybe, uh, uh, nah, yeah. Nah, smash the car up. Okay, here we go, the first mission fail. 
I mean, I'm happy that I managed to get to that point without failing. Uh, so, we're still on good pace. Like, we shouldn't be. Uh, so, for uh, any of those, don't worry, we're still on pace. We shouldn't be too late. Phew. So, I guess speaking of, uh, speaking of that, if you have any uh, mention you want to go, uh, it's a good time since we're basically retreading uh, already seen terrain. Absolutely. So, earlier this week, we released the special uh, limited edition. ESA Summer 2023 t-shirt, and obviously everyone here on site has got their, their version of it. But did you know you can pick one up at home as well? Go to speedrun.store and you can pick up your own charity t-shirt. And some of the proceeds from that will go towards Alzheimer Fondant as well. So not only do you get a nice t-shirt, but you can sit in it at home and get that warm fuzzy feeling that you're helping out Alzheimer Fondant as well. Yeah, the uh, the speedrun shirt. I say that the ESA summer shirt. Shall I say, pretty worth picking up, definitely. Yeah, they're great. I actually wait. This is the one I got. I got the other one. I actually don't remember. Was it the black one with the sun on it, or was it the? I got a purple one. one. That's the best description I can give you. I got a like a polo shirt too. Uh, not a polo shirt, but like a hoodie. I was gonna say, hang on a minute. We're in Sweden, not Poland. But anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Okay, so what's yeah? This is a pretty miserable. Oh. Really again? That's now that is just unlucky. So yeah, this is the curse of this road is that it's like it's a tunnel. There's nowhere to dodge. Okay, well, oh no, we we'll we we got out with less damage, but not exactly by much. Pick up here, no good. Please just don't spawn the road. Just spawn somewhere else. Yeah, you got some options. Uh, oh, yeah. Yay! Yeah, you got him, you got him. He's down there, he's down there. That's fine. That's, give me, buy me a I'm not seconds. joking. The, the, I have to admit, for some silly reason, but the... the so all the police sirens sound genuinely like, like you know, as they should. Uh, they are police sirens. Good, not a good spot. But the thing is, the one thing that always bugged me was the Rio one. Like, Chicago, I'm like, okay, right. It does sound we're, weird, We're in America, it? fair enough. I don't Vegas. know if it's accurate. Vegas was not bad, but then it's like well, yeah, it's the Havana same as is uh, Havana's quite a unique one. Okay, then Rio is kind of. I don't know. Reminds me a lot of the old uh, police sirens in England. It's like nah, 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 nah. I don't know, but very. I mean, the slow. ambulance a lot have the uh, ILO set up. I know because as a kid, the only game I played was mostly Driver Two and GTA Three. So you uh, basically so played. I took, the, so you played the arch rival. Pretty much, and like. Or oh, the newer arch rival, should we say? Uh, okay. But yeah, like they both have like they're both made in England, so they both have like high low sirens. So I thought that's what how, how ambulance is supposed to sound. So I was kind of confused as a kid when I heard an actual ambulance in Canada and saw like, oh wait, this this sounds nothing like the game. What's wrong? I don't even want to think about where he is right now. He's he's some oh he's, that, he's okay. in the wall. Go this way. Okay, I think this is mostly safe. And face we'll them see. mostly. Should be fine. But not that far. Yeah, well, it's a good decent route. Okay, okay yeah, spawn. yeah, yeah. There's we'll more roads around here. So, again, like I said, like, in, in those cases, like, the cops spawn away from me and not in, fr in front of me. In the tunnel, there's that's the only thing near me. So, the, the cop doesn't have a choice to spawn there. The only thing I know is that it spawns the same direction as I am. So, that's why it's a slightly bit easier to dodge them. But yeah, they, we're out of here. Yeah, we got it. We got this. Nice. Second time, well. Yep. Good stuff. It's still not great because like I'm, I should be done by now on world record. <laughs> uh, okay, he's no, already no, slowed down. He's, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say he's, he's in already the safe on zone. the. I was gonna say he's already on the dead zone, so it's fine. Yeah, dead zone, safe zone. Pick, pick your word. Oh, this is something as well. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we just spent all that effort to get that police car, and guess what we're gonna use it for? You ready? This is how long this car gets used yeah, for. Yeah, this is what we need it for. So this great chase. In this, so let's see. Turn off the siren, because obviously we need it. And we don't see it anymore. Ten seconds. That's all That's we needed it. That's for. That's all you needed it for. That's literally... What was the point? In you... Somehow... This is, the, this is what annoyed me, is it like... It wasn't just me either. There was there's a guy called Jimmy Broadbent. Anyone that knows... Uh, anyone that watches racing games and things like you might... He's not a speedrunner, just like... Yeah, he's a sim racer. Yeah, sim racer. And now actual racer, racer now. He played Driver 2, spent maybe a good hour oh, on that mission was nearly ready to throw his control out the window and then he got to it and he went, Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't even mean I'm like, yep, that's pretty much how I felt. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's understandable. But yeah, like you literally need for like ten seconds. Oh, speaking of which, with that with this mission. So where the 
Limbo spawns in the PS1 version is slightly further back, so when you come out of where you're sat, um, the limo shows up at the lights, so mm -hmm. you can easily get in it a lot sooner, whereas on this, it was like, we'll just move it forward. Yeah, it makes a corner at least, so it's, it's yeah. a bit more of a drive, but still, it's not amazing. But yeah, fun times. Yeah, it's... Well, and the thing is... Change. It doesn't really... I don't think it makes Like, story-wise, story that's Tatter's idea, because like, Kane asks, uh, tells him, like, yeah, there's this limo that's going to go grab a, a, a suitcase with cash. Uh, can you get it? And Tatter's like, yeah, I can get it. Does it matter how? And can, like, Kane's no, like, no, it's fine. It's so Tatter's idea is to steal a, a cop car, get the limousine... Oh, I just skipped a cutscene. Uh, steal, a, steal a cop car to get the limousine, and instead of just getting a limo straight up. Oh... Well, okay, oh, well, well, we made that one, so that's good. But yeah, yeah uh, this is a pretty relaxed mission, because this is just like A to B and go through the destination and then go back. Yeah, so uh, the cutscene that we skipped, <laughs> we don't normally yeah, do obviously. The All these cutscenes that Survivor is skipping, you don't skip them in the PS1. Yeah, because that's an option. That's a that's a redriver to feature, the skipping the in-game cutscene. Uh, but basically, in that particular bit, there's a load of Portuguese that's spoken. I don't know what is being said, but supposedly it's something like, is an imposter, get him. At which point, obviously, Tanner quickly hightails it out of there, and he's like, he's just been given the cash, and he's like, wait a minute, you know, the guys have gone, I don't recognize you, get him! So, hence the reason why you get henchmen on yourself, just to clear that up uh, for people that don't know. So, yeah. I do like that they, they can't cheat, because in the cutscene, you see, like, the, the, the guy running to the car in the compound, uh, but yeah, the cutscene, they, uh, after the cutscene ends, they, they spawn it on the road right next to you, because I think the AI wasn't able to make the, the driver out and just kept getting stuck, so they probably figure. We'll make it spawn next to it, and it won't show. <laughs> it's gonna make, make it make it more challenging. Uh. Oh wow, that was an interesting. Hi there, guys. Traffic pattern and a half. That was definitely an interesting traffic pattern. And now for a really hard trick. Now we're getting the painful bit. Is this where the actual? Yeah, we got save Jones next. Oh, okay, right. I'm I'm saying nothing. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so that. this is quite precise because if you fail this, this is gonna be a really long mission. So and I don't want to do that, because this is another take, uh, like crash in the car mission, like a, like the keys mission and the uh, find the clue mission in Nirvana. Uh, there's only one car, but this time the car is extremely resistant, and I don't want to waste my time trying to take that down. That's way too long. So I'm gonna try to get it to spawn in a specific pattern, uh, not a specific spot, to get him to drive in the water by himself without me doing anything. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna go wide just so I can see under the bridge. Yeah, there's nothing good. That way I can just jump straight and don't, uh, don't have to hit anything. Okay, so... Hopefully I get this. So I have a specific point, a visual guide I use. Should be coming close. Yeah, this is the light blue, post I'm using. Speed! Okay, and... Yep, there we go. And now he's going to straight line. And there you go. Yeah, so you just you see the damage bar fills up. So that actually, that actually works. That's that's it. That's Simple as that. Like that. So, how, I can't remember. Was it you that found this out? Uh, that, no. That, that glitch. I forget who. I did it. Found that. Valkyrie found that. It, they came out of nowhere and said, "Oh, by the way," because we knew that was possible. We just didn't know how to do it. And then, like years later, Valkyrie just come to Discord. And said, oh, by the way, if you go to buy that lamppost between 303 and 302, you just join the water. And lo and behold, it works. It, it's an instant kill. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you just have to uh, be there on time. It's relatively precise, that's why like, I'm trying to not crash as possible. Uh, but it's not that bad to do. Once you know what to do and you get a feel for it, it's pretty easy to get it consistently. Oh yeah, so we get some more on-foot gameplay here, by the way. So, this mission basically involves us going to blow up uh, one of the boats that Vasquez is sending out. Uh, presumably he's got something on it. I forget what it was, because story and... Uh, uh, but yeah, so I don't even say we, it. Need to, uh, we need to destroy said boat. Uh, so, supposedly, uh, after we saved Jones, because apparently Jones was, was found out, this is the reason why we had to save him. Yeah, there was a uh, guy that was going to... Somebody found out who was going to expose him, I think? Yeah, I think they were going to expose him, so we take uh, take him out before they do, or in this case, we just drown him. Well, yeah. we didn't drown him, he did it by himself, so... We didn't do anything. Yeah, so just to, I, mean, I swear, officer, he drove by himself. <laughs> yeah, so it seems like it's all a case of um, like that, that's how physics would work. But yeah, if you drive into the water in this, um, yeah, you, you yeah, that's it, that's true for you too. Like if, right yourself. If the, if you the player go in the water, your damage is gonna rack up like that too. There is one thing though. Um, so 
normally, obviously, people don't abide by, oh, you know, you use cheats and things like that. Obviously, we don't for runs. But if you turn the invincibility cheat on and you go in the water, I forget whereabouts it is. I think it might be near the castle or somewhere like that. You can drive alongside the edge of the sea. Um, and you can actually go into a ghost town. It's, there's videos all over YouTube about it. Really? Uh, but yeah, using like an invincibility. Did you not know about this? No, I never, okay, okay. never well, heard of that. <laughs> but yeah, he's played it. He's, I just speedrun this game. Uh, but yeah, so there was like a different. It was slightly different, like a glitched version of Rio. Um, it made. Oh. I think it was. In, like, yeah, all things were inverted in a way. But yeah, it was very glitchy and weird. Um, definitely have a look at it uh, when you get a chance. But apparently, uh, you're the only. Away. Yep. Uh, the only way you could do it is with the invincibility cheat. So yeah, we're going to drive onto the ship as it says, and uh, set the detonator. So we've got some more high octane gameplay uh, of on full oh, action. That's a that's a box. Uh, without hopefully getting killed in the process. Oh oh, that's that was else. stylish. You also need to get off the boat, and you need enough speed to do it. Yep. So that's why I'm driving the car here because I I just want to have a, have a room to just drive down and go. There we there go. There you go. So there and is, now we wait. We, we can actually mention as well, so after this mission finishes now, also the boat blows up even though it's not there. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Render distance. We mentioned about beta missions and things. There's one that comes up after this. It's not in the actual speed run, but in the alt mod pack it is. Yeah. Uh, and basically you need to drive from, so that the boat is now obviously exploded, but in this mission that was originally in like the alpha or something like that, uh, yeah, maybe it's, getting... you have to get from there back to the hotel. The problem, I think, or something around there, like your safe house. The it's problem is that AI is turned up to 11. So, like, the cops come at you with, like, I think on that particular mission, it's like 100% felony. So they yeah, really I think you start, come at you. You start with max felony. You need to drive the entirety of the town. You start in north, you need to go all the way to south. But that counts. That works. Uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty rough mission. Yeah. Uh, so, speaking of rush mission, this is a pretty difficult one because it's a long drive and you have barely enough time to make it, even in the speed run, because there's. There's one road you need to take to get there, and you need to not not get late and not fail it. Uh, thankfully, the game the, the the developer were a bit lenient and decided to limit the cop cars to one again. So you, you only have to worry about roadblocks, but we you do need to be careful because you are going against uh, in that tunnel we went through earlier with the still the cop car mission. So I want to limit the uh, the felony so I don't have to deal with roadblocks too. I think we don't start with felony unlike the uh, cop car mission, so it's a bit easier to uh, drive through there. I think it's worth saying as well, I've seen him a couple of times in chat as well, uh, one of the guys that's also in the driver community, um, quite synonymous okay. actually, synonymous in the Colin McRae community as well, is a guy called Farrod the Capacitor. Yep. Um, also a great yeah, runner he's, it is. Uh, he's also done runs of this too, so yeah, big, big, big mention goes to him too. He, I think he's currently, oh, yep, that was fine. Uh, I think yes, Kuna still has a worker for like all secret cars because he's actually good at the, uh, the yeah, yeah. Uh, wall clip glitch. What, what? the? Okay. That's that's not how it works, <laughs> my guy. That's not how the rules rules are. Apparently, it does for him. But anyway, yeah. So there's a. Uh, I guess so I'm not. I shouldn't sp uh, speak too much considering I'm driving full speed in all lanes. But there you go. Yeah. So one of the things that we do have. So we do have, um, as we, as I was saying before, we have uh, any percent warpless. I am sent with warps. Yeah, just 100 uh, really. Each city actually has a warps and warpless category uh, as well. So if you want to just attack all the missions individually in in, in the individual Should cities, you yeah, can do fine. that. Um, but also we have as don't we're do saying it. That, don't do it. Okay. Is the uh, all secret cars? Uh, the all secret cars is not really. It's not like a mission or anything like that. You can't. No, really it's do just it like a that. challenge. We it them. was a miscellaneous category. We came up with it. Was like we we know where the four cars are. It's not difficult. Um, and yeah. That's intended just slowing down quicker. Yeah. I mean, why not? And yeah, we made it. Okay, and now oh. the infamous mission of this game, Chase the Gunman. So I'm sure some people who know this game are probably scared. Oh, well, that's a good pattern. That's first try. But now we just need to not fail it. So I'm gonna do this. Just to rack up some bit of damage. Then I'm gonna cut the corner. Get here. Uh, and do go. Simple as that. Hopefully it doesn't bounce me away. And that's nice. Chase the Gunman, first nice. try. <laughs> that, is, that is probably by far, casually, that is probably one of the hardest missions you'll run into. Yeah, yeah. for casual, that mission is hell. But and that's not a joke either. Once so. you know what to do, it's not too bad. Yeah. But at this point now, it's like, oh, it's a bit easier. It's still difficult. No, it's the, not, because we're in hard. <laughs> yeah. This I mean, mission, mission is, is harder, chaotic. isn't it? No, it's easier. You say it was easier. No, uh, the last mission on the hard difficulty is much easier, honestly. Because uh, it's much easier to keep. Obviously, since the, the police have more help, well, police and chase. Ow! 
So to kind of sum up what's just happened in the, like the last minute with <laughs> just completely beating Chase the Gunman like that and Jones and everything. So Jones was in trouble. Vasquez is on to him. We get there. It turns out he's been shot. He's not dead. Don't worry. Um, otherwise, we won't be in driver three onwards. Yep. Um, but yeah, so he'd been shot um, and we had to obviously chase the gunman. We did. Um, and then it turns out okay, that this one will. Jones oh, is out. Hi there. Jones managed to get out of there. Luckily. Oh, that was pretty convenient. Uh, oh, Jones time. managed to get out of there. Uh, and now we're going to make sure we can take Pink Lenny down. But first of all, we need to uh, pick up Jones. Pick up. Uh, uh, no, Tanner. Uh, Jericho. <laughs> you get there. It's a long run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it is a pretty exhausting run because it's. Pretty much just a minute, an hour twenty of just non-stop. Like there's no break, there's no like slow moment. It's just mission after mission after mission. There's no like cutscene you can just watch and wait for a bit. You're just going. Yeah. So now we picked up Jericho. We are now we've now got. Did to that get count to the really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm hung up already. <laughs> it was like. Uh... Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I suppose I did scratch a car. Okay. I I want to keep my felony as low. Okay. <laughs> how, to, how to tell when uh, someone's struggling? The voice goes Because really this, like, oh, this is another long road with no sidewalk. Well, a really crummy sidewalk. And uh, no other, really not a lot of place for the cars to spawn. So, uh, Space. yeah, I was kind of stuck there. Dodging the car, the cops are are, going, are facing you is really hard. They're, if there's one thing that AI is good at, is doing that. They are master at like punching you in the face. Oh, really? Again? Okay. Well, what, you just what the? you okay, just got yeah. confused there. Sure. I was gonna say I've not seen that one before. I just oh, need to get rid of this road and uh. Oh, whoa. Okay. We got it. We got it. Kind sort of. of. Sir, can oh, you? Oh wow. Okay. Uh, this is getting kind of bad. Speed! Okay, it's fine, 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 it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't look at the health. No, okay, it's fine. It just rubbed me, so it didn't do any damage. No! Don't do it! I dare you! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when the bar starts flashing is when you're pretty bad. Also gold. I don't know if it's supposed to be a volleyball net or like a soccer oh. goal. Uh, I just don't know fun. what it is, but it looks like a soccer goal, so it's definitely not a hockey net, that's for sure. God, now he's the one that's leading. Please go it. away soon. <laughs> hey, there we go. There we go, okay. <laughs> it's not over yet. No, I can still beans the car, but I'm gonna take this corner really slow. There you go, you lost him. I'm slowed way down there. <laughs> And well done. Hey! Skinny your teeth. <laughs> and, and, and into the helicopter for good measure. Right. So, this is, funny enough, the hardest mission of the game for speedrun and for ca casual. Uh, why? Because uh, this looks pretty simple. Oh, just chase the helicopter. There's only one pattern, so you can just learn it. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of an issue by the end. Uh, they obviously didn't. The helicopter is going to crash, spoiler alert. Um, but they, I guess they didn't have a way to like make the model actually like change for a crash, so they decided to like hide it, hide the helicopter, and so when you get to the crash site, there's just a crashed helicopter waiting for you. Unfortunately, the solution for not hiding the helicopter is just speeding it up out of your view. You can probably guess the issue where the mission is to follow the helicopter. You can easily just fail the mission by the end because the helicopter goes too quick. Uh, sir, I need to move. Okay, this is pretty bad. I kind of want to reset. I am gonna reset actually because this this is actually enough to fail a mission. You need to be you need to get to the final road at the same time as the helicopter, else you will fail a mission right at the end. The helicopter will speed up enough to uh, lose you. And you can probably guess once you're uh, when you're you just done a full run and you're at this mission, yeah, it's a bit nerve-wracking to know that you can just fail a mission like not just fail a trick, just fail the mission straight up. I mean, it's nerve-wracking whether you play warpless or with warps, to be honest, because you have to do... Yeah, it's the same It's the same it's, mission. Yeah. Like, any percent or war, the uh, or warpless category is the same. Uh, like, the, the mission themselves, you do the exact same thing. You just do less mission in any percent. Okay, let's do that again. I'm, I'm slowing down here, because as you can see, I'm way ahead of the helicopter. I can't lose the helicopter by being too ahead, obviously, because it's just distance-based, so... Now, we're missing one guy. Well, Where if, is he? I don't know if you want to slow down. <laughs> okay, that's a good spawn. Well, he spawned away. Uh, but yeah, that, the reason I say this is actually easier on 
And the hard difficulty is that these guys have more health, so they stay behind you longer. So that's mean you have less uh, left enemies to dodge. Uh, oh, oh no, that's the worst. No, that actually way. that's good because he's just rubbed the walls and kind of gets stuck. Okay. I, I, usually, I usually joke that you have a voucher for one free crash in this mission. Like, you can crash once, depending on the crash. Like, the crash we just had earlier, that was too bad. So that was way too much for uh, the mission. It's here. It's, it's here. This bit. This yep. is the bit. Okay, where are you? Okay, you got stuck on the wall, so I can just do that. So, there's one that can spawn in again. But we're getting near the end. It's probably going to be on this road, honestly, so... Unless he spawns, like, on the road after. Nope. Oh, wow, okay. That's a, you got two for the price of one, though. There we go! And we're fine, we won. Because <laughs> the, the, the save zone starts here. So, but this is the road I mentioned. Like, this went pretty well. But you'll see the speed the helicopter is going to go. Yeah, if you get behind here, you really have to, like, fit through these gaps at 100 miles an hour. It's just insanely like, difficult. You see, it's catching me pretty quickly, and it's coming way faster than I'm driving. Like, it's already over me. Like, if you're, if right. you're behind, you're just going to fail there. Like, you're going to fail a mission. And get ready. Time. Probably show the end as well. For good measure. Sorry. Probably show the end if we go measure. Yeah, sure, we can go. One twenty four sixteen. That's really good. Cause we played on hard difficulty. That's really, really good. Not the worst, but is that beats my PB that I did two years ago? <laughs> I don't know if I should be impressed or upset. Uh, a bit of both, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I, just speed I, run I, it. You'll I've be got better. A lot of uh, Im improvements to make, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, thank you very much for letting me uh, showcase this. This was a riot play. Uh, thank you, everyone, for the audience. Uh, what was the final count? Uh, I want to know. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fair enough. So, all right. Okay. That's fair. So $126 for charity. Well, it's a good cause, so... Well, if you are making that donation of $126 to charity, that means that we will actually go over $50,000 oh, well. raised for <laughs> Alzheimer's Fondant. Let me grab my phone out, pull it off quickly. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I need to find a link. Time to figure that out. Uh, we, 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 we won't uh, force yeah, yeah. you to do it on <laughs> stream, right, it's no. okay. Well, it's right, fine, no. I'll, it'll be done. I'll make sure that the, my But we'll make sure that we give a big cheer camera. when we hit that 50000 mark. Thank you so uh, that's much. That's copyright music. That's got great music. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, I was say, yeah, we need, yeah, we have to skip. It's okay, the run's over now. We, we can mute this part in the <laughs> Yeah, board. that's it's fair. Fine. Okay, uh, hold on. So... Oh, I think a few closing thoughts is, yeah, so... Yeah, go ahead, you, I'm going to do that. If you want to uh, run Driver 2, I know it seems like the hardest game in the world, but then again, it wasn't the hardest difficulty, so there you go. Yeah, usually it's going to be less bad than that, because I did the worst version of playing on uh, hard difficulty, which, funny enough, I learned about an hour before doing the run that I was doing on hard. I didn't know that the incentive got met, so... Yeah, uh, that was a good thing to learn at the end. That was a one thousand dollar incentive. Yeah, I didn't know about really that. Really wanted to see. <laughs> I didn't know about it. I learned it after. But uh, either way, yeah. Um, so the driver okay. Discord does exist. There's a driver Madness Discord, but there's a driver speedrunning Discord. If you're interested in running any of the driver games, obviously, if you want to learn any of them, then obviously that is the place to be. Uh, in terms of driver two, as we said, there are the warpless category. There is the warps category. Each of the cities does have their own individual speedrun category. Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, as well, if you want to do that. And all bonus cars is actually quite relaxing. So if you wanted to try something where you wouldn't have to worry too much, it's just doing the bonus cars. But again, that's if you're kind of in the mood of, I don't want to attack the main game, I just want to attack the other game, like the other part of the game. So, yeah. Um, and obviously, I think what's quite synonymous with this game more than anything else, same with Driver 1, is obviously survival, so um, yeah, oh, there's no speed run for that. Do I, that's I mean, you have to survive, but what I'm still be doing this, so you, <laughs> you showcase survival and fun. I mean, the game will play itself, I just have to hit this. There you go, I'll let the game show well, itself. Can, oh, true. The game can do it itself. So these cops come at you at 100 miles yeah. an hour. This is this is without touching the controller. This the way, is what they do. When I mentioned, like, you know, all oh, the cops were sort of slow down even at max felony. Uh, in survival, they don't. They go at double speed the whole way. And yeah. they do not stop. So 13... So if you leave it... Uh, so where it is right now, it's 1316. If you leave it, watch this. It does the exact same again. I actually did this a couple of times in stream the other day. So 1316, it should tie it. Theoretically. Okay. Car still there. 1316, again. It's it's exactly 1316. It's like the police are always made to do that. But yeah, so that is the uh, the survival. 
Um, you can actually do survival with invincibility cheats. Yeah, but then what's that, the point? That <laughs> actually, uh, unfortunately, that defies the point. Um, the only way you can actually beat a survival mode or even, well, yeah, any sort of survival with the invincibility cheat is to have your car flipped over, which, um, truth be told, it took me nearly 15 minutes to get wrecked in survival without with invincibility. So, yeah, and that was without even, like, doing anything. The cops just fired me everywhere. Uh, eventually, the car flipped upside down after 15 minutes. So, yeah, but obviously, without the cheat, you can see 13 seconds. I think it goes quicker in, like, Vegas or something? I could be wrong. Uh, maybe. Well, I guess Where? we'll find out. Four cops, why not? I yeah. love the, the yeah, stalling for content here. This is good. <laughs> yep, keep, okay, keep talking. It's fine. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. I'm determined that stream two should be the ones to take us over the 50k I'm mark. gonna do, I'm gonna pull off. It's coming soon. There you go. Okay, 15 uh, seconds? Uh, okay. No, there's one that's last. Make a that. donation. Wait, which one's the I one? I said make a donation. Chicago, maybe? Might be Chicago. I can't remember. This is definitely 10 out of 10 game. Oh yeah, there you, are. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it gets chaotic. Yeah. This is the reason why survival is the play, the bit that everybody plays. The problem is, so the quick replay doesn't actually work properly. That's the only downside, I think. Was oh, it real? Maybe real. Maybe real. I could be wrong. They're coming. No, okay. No. You no, get, real you is less chaotic. Time, you get more time in real. Uh, all right. Actually, well, that's being. Okay, uh, it's it's completed. So and all the main things. We oh, wait for the system to pick it up. Uh, I, did it work? That's right. It does take a few seconds. Is this the point that my it? bank blocked my car because they're worried I'm getting scared? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think it worked. Yeah, it does take you can a few moments for like the system this. to pick it up. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, I take that back. Oh, well, <laughs> we're flying. We're flying. Yeah, you're gonna fly a lot in this game mode. Yeah, normally. So where if you get onto the top of them stairs that. We really are flying, god damn. Okay, there we go. Um, it should have gone through. Sure, okay, there we go. Okay, so I guess I can show this. get wrecked, though. There it is. Hey! We have hit $50,000 hey! raised for Alzheimer Fondon. And uh, a surprise donation there from uh, the Survivor for $126, who says, as promised, a dollar per crash. Thank you so much. Unless you have any last moment things to do, um, we are going to wrap it up here. I think the only thing I can say is thank you again, everyone here, to uh, let me play this. Uh, thank you for the driver committee. And thank you to you, Viper, for coming here when, with me to uh, commentate this. Uh, thank you for Soapy for making this port. And yeah, that's about it. So if you like this game, if you want to uh, get into speedrun, come to the Discord. We're more happy to uh, help you uh, start this madness. But yeah. Thank you for watching, and here's the next one is Descent, if I recall, correct? It is, yes. We will be coming back after a very short intermission. Thank you, The Survivor, and thank you, Viper. We'll see you guys very shortly.